Okay, in this one I'm going to show you how to basically set up placeholder. It's going to basically, the placeholder is going to be moving back and forth and it's going to be bouncing on these walls. Which is going to basically mean that it's going to randomly shoot down a suitcase. It's going to animate and it's going to come down and it's going to, um, you'll be able to click on it after it, it parachutes down and disappears, the parachute and the suitcase is remaining, you'll be able to click on it. Um, but it randomly, randomly going to come down and also um, it's going to keep continuing coming down after so many seconds. So basically right here I have parachute with the suitcase placeholder. Then I have two walls here. All this stuff is invisible, not going to be seen, but the wall has to be solid. So that way when the parachute placeholder moves back and forth, it's going to bounce on the wall and then it's going to go and then it's going to bounce off the wall and hit this wall. And it's going to keep doing that back and forth so that way you have a random sh um, shoot with your suitcase coming down. It's not going to be coming down in the same location. Well, maybe a little bit will come, come, down, come down in the same location, but it'll be different a little bit. So, and then what's going to happen is, so basically when placeholder is set up, after 12 seconds of bouncing back and forth on the walls at the speed of 6, which you can change that to, low, to a low speed or a higher speed, depending on how many times you want it to come out, come down, randomly. Um, with speed 6, it looks like it comes down twice in two different locations. If you change the speed to like 12 or something, it may come down even more in different locations. So basically when it hits, when the parachute hits the block, block it wall, it's going to do a reverse. So in the reverse, I got that from the move tab to drag over a reverse arrow and like I said the placeholder is going to move at 6 speed going left and then after 12 seconds room underscore speed aster 12 alarm 0 got that from the main 2 tab and the add event choose alarm zero then you put in you copy this speed at 12 seconds over into the alarm zero and then it's going to switch to fly down perform the event the change the instance is going to be located in the main one tab um, this fly down object is going to be this image here modified mass is on the object itself make sure the origin is set to the same x190 y at 357 make sure it's I have the crosshairs in this location because when I click on it it's going to the animation is going to happen in this location only but it has to be consistent the origin and origin has to be consistent with all the Im images the depth is my, minus one I have the path set here. Be sure to um, view my other um, video first before this one called Animated Animation with um, Images and Paths because that will explain more about how I set this fly, fly down image up with a case. I'm not going to go too much in detail with it because I've talked about it already in another video. And then, okay, so I'm not going to explain all this stuff because this, this is where I've already explained this in the, another previous video. So you can view that one first and then you can view this one second because this one pretty much is going to talk about the timing of the suitcase and how many times it's going to come down. Okay, so back to the placeholder. So... It's going to bounce on the walls, alright, and then it's going to 
I've created an instance here under the alarm zero. So after 12 seconds it's going to turn that fly down object and then it's going to do a create instance of object placeholder. So going to main one tab dragged over a create instance and so it's set to self. The object's going to be placeholder which is this red object here and it's set to relative. You want that checked otherwise your it's not going to be in when when it comes down it's not going it's not going to look right it's going to be off on the edge of your screen you got to make sure it's set to relative so basically that that what's that what that going to do is basically after this object changes to the fly down it's going to do this create instance again so in the previous video this placeholder would change into the fly down object and it would only happen one time but in this situation, where I have it set to create instant, it's going to repeat, 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 and that's what you want to happen. If you want it, because you don't want to keep creating images, another placeholder image called placeholder one, placeholder two, because it's just going to eat up your memory on your phone or your your computer. So this is a quick way to repeat an object after so many seconds, and that's what's happening here. So after 12 seconds, it's going to change to a fly down object, which is a different object from what this is. It's going to be this object right here, which is going to come down. And then after that, it's going to repeat the placeholder again. So it's going to create another placeholder up here. Because in reality, it switched to the fly down object, which is no longer there anymore. But then it's going to create the placeholder again. And then it's going to bounce back and forth on the walls and it's going to switch to a fly down object again. And then it's going to repeat again, repeat again, repeat again. Alright, and then it's going to stop. The animation is going to stop on that bar and then it's going to do that animation where it's going to get rid of the parachute. And then it's going to switch to the gray case. Or you'll be able to click on it and select the object. And if you don't select in a number amount of time, it's going to time out on you. So on the create, I dragged over a room underscore speed dash seven, which is the timer, and then the directions in the middle where it's not going to it's not going to move the object. Then I copy this over to the alarm zero. And it's going to switch to case gone. So if you don't collect it within second, seven seconds, it's going to disappear on you. And I have it set to disappear because it kind of makes it difficult in the game. Plus, the random positioning, it will, it will land in that location again. So you don't want to have a double image right there in that location. So after so many seconds, it's going to disappear. And then... When the object comes down again, it'll be in a different location, but then the third time it'll be in that location if you don't have the object gone. So you don't want to have a double image coming down and coming down on the same image. So after so many seconds, it's going to disappear. So then case gone after 0.5 milliseconds, it's going to completely destroy be destroyed. And this is how it looks. Alright, so after 12 seconds it's going to come down. There it comes. And you can't click on it right now, because I don't have it set to click right now until it lands. See the second one coming down, different location, and click on it. This time I'm not going to click on it, you'll see how it times out. So it timed out now. 
See this other one here I talked about? It's in the same location the other one was in. So it would be a double image if I don't get rid of it. See now it's coming down in the same location again. That one's a little bit different location. So it's kind of random. It's not completely random, but it's a little bit random where it comes out. It comes down in different locations a little bit. You can just mess with the speed of the placeholder. Maybe you'll be able to get it to come down a little in different locations. I'm sure there's a code for it for random but this is how I have mine set up so you mess with the speed mess with the, the timing on how many seconds it's going to come down and that may give you more of a randomness with the placeholder um, or you can try to find an online for a code for random but that's how it works So like I said, I only have one image this time, and it's going to bounce back and forth on these walls until so many seconds, and then after so many seconds, it's going to switch to the flying down image of the case, and then at the same time, it's going to, um, ch um, basically nothing's up here, and then it's going to create an instance, and it's going to be the, then the placeholder is going to be there again, then it's going to, then it's going to switch to the moving down object, which in that case nothing's there again and then it's going to do a repeat of where it's going to create an instance and make the placeholder happen again so that's what's happening here and it's kind of random because I have it set where the placeholder is going to move at 6 speed and it's going to bounce on the wall and then it's going to basically when it goes when it goes this way it's going to bounce on this wall and then go back this way and then bounce back that way and like I said, you can mess with the speed, how many seconds, and you can also, um, that's pretty much it, just mess with the speed here to make it be a little bit different. If you change the speed to 6, then it's going, it's not going to come down so much, I believe. If you change the speed to higher amount it's going to come down even more you'll, have, you'll see the object come down more and more and more and more but it may not come down in different locations as much and I have the walls set pretty much in this location here because I don't want it I don't want to move the wall way over here in the corner because then it'd be hard to click on because it the parachute with the case may be off on on the edge of the screen where you can't select it, so that's why I have the walls inside a little bit. And I pretty much just scaled this block, copied and pasted. Control C, Control V will copy and make a new object of the same length. And that's pretty much it. And it's going to land on this yellow bar and it's going to stop right there, of course. And that's going to be invisible. But like I said, look at my other video on animation, making paths and uh, images before looking at this video. Because that explains more in detail about how I have everything set up. And then you can look at this video for the timing of the case and the randomness. And how it will repeat again. Thanks for watching.